Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to use CNC Motion to verify our code uh, that we wrote, uh, GNM code that we wrote for our initials. Uh, I use the letters BRO, and this block right here, we're going to simulate it cutting out and just to verify that our code is correct. So if I go over to Google Docs where I typed it, here's the actual code. I'm just going to highlight it, Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to bring it over into CNC Motion. Now, Right now, it doesn't show a spot for me to put it into, so I'm going to go over to the top left here, hit New, and it brings that open. If your screen's a little weird and it doesn't look like this, you can go to Window, run an Edit Screen, and it kind of brings everything into view now. Once you have that there, Control-V, paste it in, and it should get color-coded automatically. Comments green, G-code blue, blocks are like that navy color. Um, and then we have M code and NEZ. You should see the color coding. Things to look out for, make sure you have X and Y coordinates in. There are no spaces between the Y or the X and the actual number value. Same thing with the Z. And semicolons for your comments. So just little formatting things to look out for prior to running it. But otherwise, it's pretty much good to go at this point. It's just to verify. If you wanna verify it, you go up to the top left over here. It says verify, you click it. It says verify program. You don't need to worry about the run or verify settings at the moment. The block is set up correctly two by three. So you can hit verify program. Up on top, you see the yellow bar. It'll say insert tool one now, press F5. So we'll simulate doing that, F5. And we come over here and it'll be cut out. You can use these to tilt it to look at a different view like that. And the plus and minus will speed up how fast it verifies. And when you let it go through the motions, you can see down here, the, what's the position, actual and relative. You could actually see what line of code it's on. And when it's done, you hit OK, stop. That's pretty much how you verify it. Uh, it's not much more than that, especially since we're already programming on a two by three block. This block is set up that way. What if it wasn't? Oh, and go to verify again, and you can look at run settings. Don't need to necessarily worry about that. Let's hit cancel. But the verify settings, if I want to go in and change the size of the block, here's all fine we go to stock so i have a three by two one uh one inch high block if i wanted to change it in any way to meet what we did initially uh draw it onto then this is where i would change it and you would hit okay so let's just make it uh let's go four and just see what happens hit okay generate through the model and now notice it's four this is our origin point over here i'm just going to go back i'm going to change that to three hit okay there we go. There's the image. Now, what if for some reason it doesn't want to run? It says the machine needs to be home. So I can hit the scroll wheel and notice it changes the view here. Holding right click brings it in and turning it. Sometimes you need to say, hey, where is the origin of this? So this right here, send tool to corner, click it over there, sets the tool to the corner. That's where our origin is, where we programmed it. Then go to setup, zero position. And it says, do you want to re reset the current zero position on all axes, X, Y, and Z? So my X, Y, and Z will be right there. We're right there. Yes. Then I can go home, do quick home. It just basically sets the machine in space. It knows where it is now. And now this corner right there is all zeroed out. So I can go to verify again, run settings, verify, good. Verify program, hit a five, and it's going to verify easy enough. If I wanted to run it on the actual machine, let's stop it here. Oh, hit stop up there. Okay, I requested to stop. Just going to reset that. That's what that little thing is. It's a reset up in the top right. See, I want to run it on the machine. I can hit play now, run program two, and it says unable to continue until shield is closed. Well, let's close the shield. If I come over to the left, there it is, shield opener. Close it. You see it's slightly grayed out. Now it says program paused, F5 to continue, hit F5. Up on the top, it says F5 to change the tool. There it is. And now look at our simulation. Spindle comes down. There we go, and we can look at it. In real time, how fast it would actually be. Part time shows up down over here, so we could actually see how long it would take to do this part in real life. And that's pretty much, we'll let this run to the end so you can see it done. Notice the verify is happening at the same time this is. So it may take a moment or two. 
And that's your basics with CNC motion. And we'll let it run all the way through. Okay, here's that rapid reverse, plunging back down to do the R. Doing the arc for our R. All right, so, so far we're looking at a minute and a half to make this. It's pretty slow. Remember, we are moving at nine inches per minute for this material, which is really slow. Doing the letter O now with a couple little arcs in it. See that spindle spinning away right there, and it's just about done rounding the corner. That's it up oh, out of the way. Program stop. So, two minutes six seconds to run that on CNC motion using the Benchmill 6000. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. That's about it.